the cruise industry has been severely impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. Since the crisis began in March 2020, many ships have been kept in port and many countries have closed their borders and imposed restrictions, preventing people from traveling. However, the pandemic was not the only culprit for the situation. The cruise industry has also been criticized for its environmental impact, with ships being responsible for greenhouse gas emissions and for dumping waste into the sea. Additionally, the industry has been criticized for paying low wages to its employees and for not providing adequate protections to workers. As a result, Italian, English, and North American cruise ships are being dismantled at the Aliaga shipyard on the coast of Turkey. This is another consequence of the pandemic that has paralyzed tourism, resulting in massive losses for the sector. All sectors of the economy have been affected by COVID-19, but shipping companies have been hit the hardest. Before the pandemic, there were 338 cruise ships in the world, according to the Financial Times. At the height of the crisis, it was unclear how many remained. In July 2020, the world's largest cruise company was spending no less than $1 billion a month to maintain its fleet. Faced with maintaining losses or dismantling cruise ships, some companies opted for euthanasia. There was no other solution but to abandon some, even those recently refurbished. Camel Onal, president of a recycling industry association, said that before the pandemic, Turkish dismantling yards usually dealt with cargo ships and container ships, but after the pandemic, cruise ships changed course towards Aliaga very significantly. About 2,500 people work at the shipyard in teams that take, on average, about six months to dismantle a complete passenger ship. What is a crisis for some is an opportunity for others. The Aliaga shipyard aims to increase the volume of dismantled steel to 1.1 million tons by the end of the year, compared to 700,000 tons in January 2020. Everything is removed, piece by piece, from lamps to pianos, from pools to golf courses. In addition to steel, which always has value, the contents of dismantled ships are highly sought after by antique dealers and, above all, private collectors who have made offers for more valuable items.